Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can rename file in by using Power Automate. Uh, whether you want to rename a single file or you want to rename all the files in the in a SharePoint library, we'll discuss both the things. So basically, what I have done is I have created two flows for this, and I will go through uh, these two flow and we'll run it and we'll see how we can uh, achieve this functionality but more importantly if you are new to power automate then i i'll put some link in the video description you can have a look at that how we can create flow how we can start with a button flow like this and also i have created a complete tutorial on the same you can see here power automate rename file and it has step by step everything is there how you can start it but i will not cover these things uh, particularly in this video because unnecessary i want i don't want to make this video very long so for that uh, what i have done is i have created the flows and i will show you how it works now to look at the first thing is uh, suppose there are uh, certain files that they are in this particular uh, uh, library and if you want to select a particular file and then you uh, click over this uh, three dot here and then power automate and then you can see here there is a power automate which says power automate rename file in SharePoint. So this is basically the flow name that I have created and you can see here it is coming in the ribbon. So once you select this, uh, then you can see uh, it is coming here. It is asking me to run the flow and once I click uh, on run the flow, so uh, the flow has been run for the particular selected file, not any other files. Uh, why selected files because I have created the flow by using that action let's say if you want to uh, create a flow that will uh, rename the file once a user uploaded a file or created a file then you have to choose uh, different flow actions for that we'll discuss that now if I will just refresh it once uh, you can see here now the flow name uh, the file name is a gyd dot xlx file and if you click on that you can see here the file is also opening there is no error anything on this now for this i will go to flow.microsoft.com and uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have not signed in then it will ask you to sign in with your credentials and this is a office 365 credential that i have so i have already signed in with uh, with this uh, this site and now if you look at this uh, you can go to my flow and uh, if you have created that flow with the same user which you have logged in then it will come on under this but since i have created with another user and i shared with me so you can see here this is the flow name that i was talking about power automate rename file in sharepoint you can simply click over this and once you click on that uh, you can see here i have uh, choose here uh, for a selected file now if when you will uh, let's say when you will create a flow you can see here i will uh, click on create and then you can see uh, you know automated flow and you will give the flow name and here you choose that this option for example particularly in this case uh, i want to uh, run this flow for a selected file that is the reason i choose that flow action but if you want to let's say run the uh, run it on a whenever a user uh, create a file or something you can choose this but if, so in this case particularly i have selected uh, i have chosen when a uh, file is selected or for a selected file and i have uh, here provided the sharepoint uh, site address and the library name so if you look at this uh, particular uh, library that is presented under this uh, uh, enjoy sharepoint site and uh, then next action i have added is the get file properties because i want to get the file properties of uh, the particular item selected item so i pass here the id and uh, next is uh, this is the main action that where we are uh, renaming the file by doing a rest call so if you'll see here send an http request to sharepoint i provide the site address the method is post as we are renaming the file 
and then this is the url this is the rest endpoint you can see here get by title the library name and then slash items and i provided the id here so particular item will be we are getting that property and uh, this is the header section if you are familiar with uh, rest api then you will be able to know that these are the properties that we have to uh, provide and uh, you can see it here uh, so i provide content type if match star x hyphen http hyphen method and patch so if you are new to rest api then i'll put a link in the video description uh, there i have explained everything about rest api how we can work with serpent rest api you can have a look at that and last the important thing here you can see uh, in the body we are passing underscore underscore metadata and the type so if you'll see here type is sp dot data dot shared underscore document basically the display uh, the file name uh, the sorry the document library name hyphen uh, sorry then item so this one you can see here we have to add like this and then uh, file leaf uh, ref so this is i have provided the good here so that anytime you can uh, uh, a new id will uh, come and then dot xls sx file so if you have um, if you want to change based on the ex uh, extension then you can take the file extension as well so let's say you selected a pdf file then you can simply just give the properties of this uh, file so that way also you can, you can do it you can go through the tutorial i have explained that thing over there so this is how you can create the flow and you can save it and once you save it uh, then as i always i have shown you already um, you know when i rename a file it renamed to a uh, GUID so the GUID that we pass it here the name the next example is how we can rename all the files so look at this library it is, it is known as the contract library where I have three files are there sample hyphen one dot xlsx file and three files are there you can see look at that and then look at the IDs here 19 21 and 20 these three IDs are there now what for that what i have done is i have created another flow uh, which is power automate rename all files so this will uh, basically a button flow you can look at this file so you can manually run this flow as well so you can click over edit and i have done few things on this like for example this is a manually trigger flow as i said when you will go for uh, create then you can see here uh, uh, there is instant cloud flow you need to choose this option so that that this flow will trigger so that means manually you can run this flow and then i have added get files properties so i provide the site address the library name and then uh, there is a apply to which you can see within that you can see there is the send an http request to sharepoint is there so what we are doing here is we are doing the same thing whatever we have done in in the previous example you can see here we uh, the method is post this is the url and uh, then content type is x hyphen http method if match star and then the last one you can see here the same thing uh, underscore underscore metadata type uh, title uh, uh, sample whatever the title if you want to give then this is the file name so title can be uh, you know same uh, but the file name cannot be same that is the reason what we have done here is whatever the name was there we keep it and then i pass id so let's say the file name here is uh, uh, sample hyphen one then the id is 19 so basically it should come as sample hyphen 119.xls file so that's how it will appear so for uh, for all the files based on that because each id anyway is unique and that is the reason uh, the file name will get uh, 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 unique over here so what we'll do here is i will go to this uh, this flow you can see i just click on run uh, the run button and once i click on this run button uh, you can see here it is saying run flow and the flow run successfully so it sorry the flow started successfully uh, and we can monitor it so we can monitor it two ways we can do that you can go to, you can uh, click on that flow you can see the properties and then you will be able to see in the history so it is around or how it is you can see here 16 second echo so that means it already succeeded if you can see now uh, so the file names has been changed 119 221 and 320 so this is how uh, appended the id with the name and that is the file renamed with it 
so based on your requirement you can uh, you can apply the logic uh, when you want to trigger that is again if you want to trigger individually if you want to trigger on a button click uh, wherever the way you can uh, you can choose that those flow actions and also make sure to go through this complete tutorial i have uh, some other things also like how you can do in one drive uh, with extension sharepoint with date also how you can rename it i don't want to go through each and every element uh, just to make the video uh, very big but you can go through this article and uh, you can follow step by step to learn this so uh, if you want similar kind of videos then uh, subscribe to our youtube channel you will get lot of free videos on power platform spfx sharepoint you know all these videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day